Uh, my name's June, and I serve here at the church. I'm an adult Sunday school teacher, which I love very much. And I'm also a member of the choir and the praise team. And I have a lot of reasons that I serve, mainly just for sheer love of the Lord. The Bible says that to whom much is given, much is required. And I have been given very much, very much. So I owe a lot to him. And just being in love with Jesus makes you want to do for him, to serve in some way. When they were building the temple and they asked people to bring things, there was so much given that they couldn't take it all and they had to turn people away. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had to say to people, oh, I'm sorry, it's not your turn to work in the nursery today. Or yes, we'd love to give you a Sunday school class, but there's a waiting list and we'll put you, wouldn't that be awesome if we had to do that? I serve because I love this church and I love the people here. They're my family, my family. There are families within the family and I love them. I love being with them. I love sharing burdens with them. And when you're working with someone, working with a group or with another individual on any task, there's a, a closeness that comes that just doesn't come any other way, but by being together, families take care of one another. And this church is the place that my family has chosen to, to attend and to serve God in. So, so we serve this family because that's what families do, right? Uh, the Bible also says, you know, whatever your hands find to do, do it with your might. So we should serve with passion, intentionally and purposefully and lovingly and humbly. Never thinking, because it would be unlike him to ever say, what about me or what's in it for me? We serve because the heart of Jesus serves. He is our example of serving and giving and working and doing and there is great joy in that there's no better feeling in the world than knowing because I took care of your baby you got to pray through at the altar oh, what a feeling we're doing that unto the Lord not for the pastor and not for the church members but, but for the Lord and if someone's heart is touched because of some little thing I did wonderful feeling that is because we do that. The Bible says we do that unto him. If we give a cup of cold water, that's to give it to Jesus himself. And and serving here is just, it's just flat fun. It's just fun. Um, I love the choir. I love the family within the choir. And we need altos, by the way. And I love the worship there, even in rehearsal. When rehearsal turns into a time of worship with those that I love so much, I just go home thinking, thank you for the privilege, the privilege of getting to do that, to sing about him and sing with him and, and join hands with those that love him too. It's, it's one of the greatest joys of my life. I love that. I love my, my Sunday school class where we learn from each other. I've never taught adults before. This is new for me, and, and I have had a wonderful time with that older people and younger people and we give and we take and we all talk and we share and and we text each other and we Facebook each other and we share uh, praise reports and, and prayer requests and we go to each other's homes and it's another family within the family and that has been a joy. Just, it's, it's just every everything that I do I wish I could do more and, and sometimes I'm tired you know I'm tired I work all day I have a home and but I'm never sorry I came. I'm never sorry that I did. I'm always glad that I came. And if Jesus tarries and I get to retire, I mean, everybody's gonna think I'm on, on staff here because I just wanna do everything, you know? It's just a joy to serve the Lord in any way that we can, all to give Him glory, and not for ourselves, but, but just for His sake, because He loves us so.